So, welcome to episode 28 of the best Nova Launcher setups. I'm super excited for the three setups that we have showcased in today's episode. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so this month we have three new setups, all of which have been created using Nova Launcher. And in fact, all three setups are also single page setups. And I'd say that they're all pretty easy to replicate on your own phones if that's something that you're interested in doing. There is some great diversity in terms of how each setup looks. So hopefully there's something in this episode for everyone. But with that said, let's get into setup number one. Okay, so first up today is a single page setup sent in by Rahul. It's been made using Nova Launcher and as you can probably tell, this setup is super eye-catching and yet it's still really well laid out as well. First things first, that outstanding wallpaper is from the Wall Candy application, but Rahul was nice enough to send through the direct link as well. So I'll include both down in the description below. But for me, this wallpaper is without a doubt the heart and soul of this entire setup. I love that blue in particular, but then that little Spaceman graphic up the top holding that portal into space, it seems, is seriously phenomenal. Great design and would no doubt make a great base for just about any home screen setup design. That said, the rest of Rahul's setup ain't nothing to sneeze at either. In terms of widgets, there are three on this home page. This first one up the top incorporates the time, a welcome message, the weather and the date, and it's taken from the vanilla for KWGT widget pack. And to save you some time, just search for widget 73 and it should pop straight up. Below that is a self-made battery percentage widget, and this fits in really well with the widget above it. And then below that, sandwiched between the app icons, is another self-made widget that incorporates both a shortcut to Google Chrome and a shortcut to the app drawer. Rahul's done a really solid job of putting these two widgets together, and he was kind enough to send through the backup files for both, so they'll of course be included in the description below. Now, speaking of those app icons, here we have six applications, all of which are using icons from the Minoic icon pack, which I think suits the aesthetic of this homepage really well. And then aside from that, whilst there's nothing too special about the app drawer, I will mention that the icon pack being used here is the Minty Icons icon pack. But that's it for this vibrant, yet still somehow minimally beautiful setup from Rahul. All right, next up we have a pretty simple and minimal looking one page setup sent in by Raghav. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. This one has also been created using Nova Launcher. So let's take a look at what is used to make this setup look the way that it does. Once again, starting with that wallpaper, this one comes from the HD wallpapers application. And what I love about this one is that we've got a really nice blue gradient up the top there with very little detail, plus that dark gray hill silhouette at the bottom, again, with very little detail. And what this achieves is a striking looking setup with good contrast, but lots of flexibility as to where we can place our widgets and icons because they're not getting lost in a bunch of detail from the backdrop. Now at the top of this home screen, we have a time, day and date widget. This one is widget 165 from the GEM KWGT widget pack. Looks pretty decent, although I'd be tempted to remove that date at the bottom there as I'm not super confident that the font suits the rest of the setup. Below that is a music player widget, which comes from the clear KWGT widget pack. It's widget 56. And whilst music isn't playing, it definitely suits the vibe and look of the rest of the setup. But by default, whenever music does start playing, this multicolored progress bar appears, which I think just stands out like a sore thumb. So I took the liberty to dive in and change the color settings of this progress bar to flat. And then I changed the foreground color to white the background color to black. And now I think it suits the rest of the setup a heck of a lot better. It's just little tweaks like that, which can really help to take a setup to the next level. All right, below those windmills there, we have nine app icons laid out in a three by three configuration. I've always liked this layout and I particularly like it when a circle icon pack is used, which is obviously the case for this setup. And the icon pack being used here is the adaptive pixel white 
Icon Pack, which I'm sure you've already picked up, suits the black and white widgets above beautifully. Now, the one downside of using such a distinct icon pack like this one is that any unthemed app icons stand out big time. And so Recav came up with a pretty neat solution for the app drawer, which is to create a separate page altogether for the unthemed icons. Together, the unthemed icons look fine, but scattered throughout the adaptive pixel white icons, and they look pretty awful. Also tip my hat to this paginated app drawer layout. I've got to say, I haven't seen this layout for an app drawer in quite some time, but I really do like it. That's it for this setup though, and on to the final setup for today's episode. And finally today, we have another single page Nova Launcher setup sent in by Hattie. Now Hattie had another setup featured in last month's episode, and this dude sends me several amazing submissions each week. So I'm gonna link his Instagram page below so that you can check them all out. But this super vibrant one stood out to me and I just had to showcase it in today's video. And I think without question, what immediately catches the eye with this setup is that backdrop. It is super colorful and vibrant and there's no doubt that it just draws your eye in. Paddy has sent through the wallpaper file directly, which I will have linked down below. But part of me does think that perhaps it's slightly too bright. So I did experiment and I took the photo into the editing booth. I put a black layer over the top set at about 50% opacity. And I think that does help the widgets at the top in particular to stand out a little better. Let me know your thoughts on whether this improved things or not down in the comments below. From there, up the top on this home screen is a time, date, weather, and battery percentage widget. This one comes from the Cream KWGT widget pack. It's widget 121. And then below that, we have a music player widget also from the Cream KWGT widget pack, and it is widget 104. Now I've got to say there is definitely solid merit to using the same widget pack for several different widgets within the one setup as that usually helps with consistency in terms of design, but it of course also helps on the wallet as well. Now below that is a set of nine applications laid out in a three by three configuration. And these are using icons from the creamy dark icon pack, which I think looks great. And just to show it off a little further, even though not every icon is supported, I do really like this icon pack being used in the app drawer as well. And that dark background color provides a nice contrast to the vibrant home screen setup. Aside from that, that is it for this Nova Launcher setup sent in by Hattie. Expect to see his setups plenty more on the channel because pretty much all of them look downright amazing. But that's it. Now, you guys know the drill. Links to each and every asset you need to get these setups loaded onto your own devices have been included down below. And also let me know whether you like the idea of me taking one of the setups that I feature in each episode of the Best Nova Launcher setups and creating a separate step-by-step -step how-to tutorial breaking down exactly how to replicate that setup on your own phone. So I have this idea that it could be like this companion series to this main series, but I'm not totally sure whether or not that's something you'd all be interested in seeing. So definitely let me know if it is down in the comments below. If you have your own unique home screen setup that you'd like to see featured in this series, then make sure you check out the submission video also linked below. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.